So when I typed banana spider in the search bar, I had no idea what I was getting into. Apparently there is more than one type of spider with the name banana spider. So today we're actually going to be talking about the Brazilian wandering spider because that one sounded the most terrifying of the bunch. The Brazilian wandering spider can truly be found throughout South America and Brazil being their place of discovery. The relation to the banana comes into play when considering that these spiders, on occasion, actually travel to other parts of the world via bananas. Some spiders will spend time in banana trees and end up getting shipped off to places that are banana lacking. It's here that people find these spiders and totally freak out. Let's set a few things straight right now. It is actually possible for a Brazilian wandering spider to be shipped around the world on bananas, although it's highly rare. As in, there's only ever been one reported case of a person being bitten by one in the UK. Also, one of the species of Brazilian wandering spiders has been classified as the most toxic spider in the world. Plus, there have been fewer than 20 deaths from Brazilian wandering spiders ever reported. Like, ever, ever, in like, all of history. And that's because there is an anti-venom for them. Also, a lot of times, the spiders seen traveling on banana plants are mislabeled as Brazilian wandering spiders and only later discovered to be another, similar-looking wandering spider, which is also called a banana spider. This spider is completely harmless to humans. If you're still convinced your banana stowaway might be the big baddie herself, because female spiders are almost always larger than their male counterparts, here's what you would be looking for to identify it. Brazilian wandering spiders are actually pretty big. Their bodies are about 2 inches long and their legs can be up to 6 inches long. Considering most bananas aren't much longer than like 10 inches, that would mean she would take up nearly all of your banana fruit. They're hairy and usually brown in color, some sporting scarlet-colored fangs as a warning to predators. When threatened, they raise up their front two legs to help show off their fangs even more. Let's take into consideration, though. Typically, it's not the spider herself you'll be seeing, but her egg sac. Something cool about these spiders is that they can actually decide when to fertilize their eggs, holding onto a sperm sac for up to a year before fertilization. Typically, she'll lay her eggs and guard them until they hatch. And even experts have a difficult time identifying an egg sac without having seen the spider that produced it. Considering the size of this arachnid, unless you find an egg sac that's half the size of a billiards ball, you're probably not dealing with a Brazilian wandering spider. There are actually eight species of Brazilian wandering spiders. They get their name because they hunt without spinning webs. They're nocturnal hunters and ambush predators. They eat insects, other spiders, and even small rodents and reptiles. Male Brazilian wandering spiders will actually compete for a female, but the females can be extremely picky before selecting a mate. And if he doesn't leave her shortly after they mate, she eats him. She'll lay up to a thousand eggs in her egg sac and, as I mentioned earlier, will guard them until they hatch. Most Brazilian wandering spiders will live to be about two years old. It's also been noted that these spiders don't live very well in captivity. My guess would be because they like to roam and would need a fairly large enclosure to stay stress-free. For more information on the banana spider, oh, excuse me, the Brazilian wandering spider, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Thank you for watching and give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.